Well, now that we've had a gander at our protagonists, let's take a gander at our antagonists. We've all seen evil stepmothers countless times in movies before, but this story goes even further and has an evil biological mother. But which movie does it better? Well, let's find out with Best Corinne. What's really interesting about Corinne is, unlike her two oldest children who are evolving as characters throughout the story, she's devolving. Going from a loving mother with just a touch of vanity, to a calculative self-centered bitch willing to imprison, abuse, and ultimately try and kill her children just to inherit a fortune. Now this one was a bit tougher because both versions really are pretty close to the book. But one big problem I noticed with Victoria Tennant's Corinne was, it was kinda lacking. And I actually mean that literally here. Yeah, compared to the remake, Corinne does not have nearly as much screen time in the original. She's prominent at the beginning of the movie when she's arriving at Foxworth Hall and blocking the kids up, and in the third act when she becomes a full-fledged antagonist, but we only see her visiting the kids a couple times in the movie, and here and there sucking up to her rich father and living the good life, and that's about it. Because Corinne has much more screen time in the remake, her change of character is much more developed, we can see how the good life is slowly corrupting her with each scene that she's in, making her more and more concerned about her inheritance and less and less about her children's well-being. She almost even has a rebound at one point, where she's considering dropping the charade when she sees how truly miserable her children are. But it doesn't last too long. Much like with Kathy and Christopher, her elaborated development based on the circumstances makes her all the more interesting, while Tennant's limited screen time doesn't leave as much of an impact as it could have. But which actress played the part better? Well, at first glance, Victoria Tennant would probably look like the obvious winner. She seems to have this cold aloofness coming from her, not in a mediocre acting sort of way, but more in a I'm so perfect I don't have time to fully express myself sort of way. And again, that sounds perfect for the role of a greedy and standoffish bitch who doesn't care about anything but her money and her own happiness. But let's really look at it. Because she's so aloof and formalized throughout the whole movie, it's a bit difficult for her to come off as the caring mother she starts out as. Even though Tina does a good job at acting loving and supportive towards the children, she always feels a bit quiet and introverted, and you can get a sense early on that there's just something not quite right about this character. It's kind of like Jack Nicholson's performance in The Shining. Sure, Nicholson acted the part of Jack Torrance's loving and sane side well, but his natural intimidation clued you very early on for what was to eventually come with the character. While Heather Graham is able to transition into the selfish persona effectively, she portrays Corinne's good side much better, coming off as a very warm and open person, shrouding her fall into darkness far better. But what about her villainous side? Well, Tennant certainly pulls off the insensitive snob without a hitch, but the abusive parent aspect is a little underplayed, Again, largely because Tennant's stuck-up introversion limits the full potential of her performance. Graham also portrays a good rich snob, but because she's more extroverted, she pulls off the abusive parent aspect much better. Just look at some of these scenes. She looks like a freaking psychopath. Just for that, you will never come out of this room. Not for any reason! If you ever do that again, I will whip you! And Kathy too! You. It's always you. It's a bit like comparing the evil queen from Snow White with Mother Gothel from Tangled. Both are vain and self-absorbed shrews who are perfectly willing to imprison and abuse their children for their own benefit. But one is so prideful and stuck up, she can't convey enough emotion and intimidation in her performance to make an effective villain. While the other works in enough aggression and intimidation to coincide with her pompousness that you feel her threat much better. There's one last thing that I want to discuss here before we wrap up, which is relatively small but still important. The remake remembers that Corinne is still a mother to these children. While it's not possible for a parent to turn on their children in real life, they often do show some signs of sorrow since it is one of their strongest human instincts. In the original, it's clear that Corinne has no regrets about poisoning Cory at all and her greed has taken over entirely. When she comes to tell her children about Corey dying, she just stands in the door, tells them that their brother died in the hospital, and then hightails it, without the slightest bit of sorrow for her actions or her grieving children. While Corinne is still willing to go through with her plans in the remake, it's clear that she still has a little bit of her maternal instincts left. When she comes to lie to the children about Corey dying of pneumonia, 
She doesn't just do in a split second and leave. She has trouble getting the lie out, or even looking at her kids straight in the eyes. Corey had pneumonia. The doctors did all they could, but it was too late. And when she sees her children mourning their brother, it's clear that even though her money still means more to her, she can't help but feel just the slice but sad, both about her actions and for her grieving children. I'm sorry. Sure, it's not enough to make her do the right thing, but by showing that she still has small fragments of her strongest instincts left, it makes the betrayal of her children more believable. Before we wrap up, I just want to reiterate that I do not think Victoria Tennant's acting is bad. I really feel her nonchalant performance was intentional on director Jeffrey Bloom's part to showcase the character's narcissism. And to her credit, she can show some convincing emotion when the character is upset, though not to the point where it goes overboard like Swanson's Kathy. But overall, I feel like the direction they went with the character's performance, plus her significantly reduced screen time, really hampered her ability to leave a strong impact. I'm not going to act like Heather Graham's performance was Oscar-worthy, but it did seem to pull off both sides of Corinne's persona more effectively since she was more versatile with her emotions, and she had more screen time and thus more time to establish her character, and show it slowly corrupt over time. Point goes to the new. You have no right to talk to me like that! <laughs>